Process technology is not about teaching people how to run plants. It's about teaching people how plants run. I set out on a journey that uh, had no idea what a process operator was. And I've seen it from the, the infancy stages of we did everything by hand, we did everything manually. And now it's a really technical job. It's not going to be the, the typical steel mill jobs that left this area. Th these are going to be jobs that you have to be quick on your feet, you have to think, you have to troubleshoot. There's a lot of huge equipment, expensive equipment that you're responsible for. We have companies like BASF, Nova, and a little bit further down the road, First Energy, all who have need for operators within the next five years. We're considering the workforce needs of Shell and the ethane cracker plan and all the residual workforce needs to be priority number one at CCBC. About four years ago, we recognized the need when Shell made the announcement. We, re we reached out to local industry uh, companies like Nova, BASF, Westinghouse to see if there was a need for process technology program, and they, they indicated that there was. We also met with four colleges in the Houston area and in industry. We spent a week in, in the Houston area and brought back curriculum and a ton of ideas. And we had our industry advisory boards, uh, up to 40 individuals, review the curriculum. Uh, help us with equipment purchases and get the program launched. So we began the program in January of 2015. Every program we develop, we're working with industry. We pull advisory panels together to make sure that we're heading in the right direction and the training meets their needs. Not only do we have industry help us with curriculum, but our courses are taught by industry. For example, process technology, we have instructors from Alcasan, First Energy, Nova, BASF and Total Equipment Company. We work very closely with CCBC on developing the process technology curriculum. Uh, we have a need to develop new um, operators that will meet critical hiring needs in the near future. Our students come from a variety of walks of life. We have students right out of high school that enter our program, students that are retraining from uh, maybe creating a different career pathway for themselves. Basically what brought me here was the P-TECH program itself. Um, I was looking for a change. Uh, I bought a house recently, had a big lifestyle change in that respect, and bartending really wasn't a financial opportunity that you know, didn't have a lot of advancement in it. So. P-TECH program seemed reasonably excited with everything that was coming in, so I took advantage of it. I actually have a job up at AK Steel up in Butler, and that really got me interested in how pumps work, how valves work, um, and how the whole process works. Uh, process technology is what brought me to CCBC because of all the opportunity that's coming into the area for technicians. My background coming into this program was working on a farm, other odds and ends stuff, and now I know significantly more about the equipment and instrumentation, how an actual chemical plant functions. I came back to study in the process technology course because the current field I'm in, it's really hard. I could be getting laid off at any time. And with different corporations coming into the valley, this is gonna open a lot of doors. And instead of being, you know, having certificates, I'll have a two-year associate's degree, which will help me out even more. My dad owned a lawn care business, and so we worked with a lot of equipment and chemicals too, and so he thought I should try out this program. Yeah, I already have a couple degrees, but they're not process technology degrees, so therefore I had to go back. So I was missing maybe 11 classes to complete a two-year associate's. So with that being said, all the programs that they offer were at night, and since I work during the day, I fit perfectly for my schedule to come at night. Our instructors, also have a small classroom size where we can work with students very closely. The instructors are very hands-on. We've taken apart pumps, compressors, all kinds of things, got the inner workings of it, and we can take them apart, put them together, and make them work. It's hard after being out of you know regular school for 25 years, but the one thing I've noticed with these instructors also is they're willing to help me. They know I work a full-time job. They know I have a family at home. So I do take a few of the courses online, and even the online instructors will email me, Dave, you know, are you gonna be able to meet this deadline? Yeah, no problem. You know, if I need help, they'll let me come up here and they'll meet me after hours to help me out with anything I have. You know, it's, it's just, it's a great place to be up here. They really care about their, you know, their students. The CCBC program is a recognized program and is very cutting edge and innovative 
in the application of the curriculum. Currently, our students are involved in the two-year program to complete their associates. After that, they can continue to a four-year institution um, to transfer credits, or you can go directly into job placement. We've created career pathways, so with our uh, STEM Academy student, can graduate with, uh, with college credit and then go into two tracks, engineering or, or process technology. You can get into a job and then if, if you want to pursue additional opportunities, often the employer will pay for you to go to um, a four-year institution and we've created articulation agreements with uh, universities like Clarion University where you can uh, pursue management opportunities and we're also working on uh, articulation agreements for engineering. Oil and gas uh, industry right now is booming, you know, all over the place. There's great opportunity for the young people, especially the whole area here, but the young people have a really good opportunity. CCBC has already helped me, and it will help me even more gain a better life. We have quite the opportunity to be able to train and retrain individuals for high-paying, high-skilled careers, and what a better place to start than here at CCBC.